Today we are going to test the effects of plastic in water. The first thing we're going to test with plastic is, does it float? Now the short answer is yes, plastic can float, but it can also sink given the right circumstances. So what we're going to do is print some aquarium decorations that will be sitting inside of my fish tanks and see just how well they float because the reality is plastics that we use for 3d printing often absorb moisture from the atmosphere that's why we put them in little boxes full of desiccate that desiccate absorbs the moisture from the atmosphere and keeps the filament dry that's important for printing purposes when we're actually 3d printing but what about when it's already printed do you still need to worry about that does it get waterlogged and ultimately will these little decorations sink i went to thingiverse to see what decorations would catch my eye and the first things that popped up for me were these aquarium floating mines they look like those little sea mines back from world war ii now uh the reason i'm choosing two of these is because one of them includes a base to put sand on so that I can hold the mine down so that it doesn't float away when it's sitting in the uh, substrate. And then this one is a version of the mine that's all in one piece and doesn't need to be glued together. So we're going to make a combination of that, and that looks like this right here. Now, this is the 3D models, and when we look at it in a layer-by-layer -layer view, because that's how 3D printers work, we can see exactly what our 3D printer is going to do. So let's go and make one. Starting with ABS. So we've got the decoration and... It's a bit buoyant at 20% infill. You know what though, we got this base plate. Let's get underneath some sand and maybe that'll do it. Nope. Alright, how about some rocks? Uh, negatory. Okay, so we know it floats, but it won't float in the way that we want it to. So, fourth time's the charm, as it appears. This one is printed out of 50% infill, so it's 50% plastic on the inside, and theoretically 50% air on the inside. This one didn't print as nicely as I would have liked it, and the chain hook is hanging on by a thread. That being said, it's a, it's a fun little toy. So, uh, it's the chain is 100% infill, so is the base plate. This is the only part that's 50% infill. And this is like the perfect weight because the sand, and it's not a lot of sand, the sand does hold it down. So... I think 50% infill is what we're going to go for for the rest of this test. So at 20% it was way too buoyant and it kept floating away. At 30% you could hold it down with rocks and sand but it did have a tendency to still want to float away on you. At 40% I could hold it down with just sand but after about a day it did knock itself loose and get away from me. So this one is at 50% and this one seems to be just right so all future tests will be done at 50 percent infill so that way we have consistency across all the plastic in terms of how much air is in the mine now the question ultimately is will this plastic absorb moisture and then sink ultimately defeating the purpose of this decoration well, that's why we're going to print it in multiple different plastics to see which one continues to float regardless of being submerged in water. 